Hello, I'm Dr. Chua Boon Leong, a math educator from the National Institute of Education, Singapore. I'm involved in education for nearly 30 years. Let me share with you something about teaching mathematics for deep understanding. We want students to learn mathematics with understanding. And not just surface understanding, but deep understanding. By surface understanding, it means that the students are able to apply the rule, formula and procedures to solve mathematics problems, like this example here. To estimate the total floor area of the apartment, students with surface understanding will measure the size of each room, calculate the areas of each one and add up all the areas. However, there is a more efficient method by just measuring four lengths. How do you do it? I will do it this way. Also these two ways. Surprisingly, students came up with more ways other than my three. I believe all math teachers want their students to have strong mathematical content knowledge, apart from knowing how to apply rule, formula and procedures, why they work, how they might be used in other contexts, and also how to interpret them. How could teachers support students to deepen understanding to acquire strong mathematical content knowledge? Help them to make sense of what they are learning. What is mathematical sense-making? According to Batista, it is the process of understanding mathematical concepts in order to correctly identify, describe, explain and apply them. Besides mathematical concepts, sense-making should entail mathematical rules, formulae and procedures as well. It should also involve making connections between existing and new knowledge. Sense-making can lead to deep understanding. How so? Making the ideas clear, logical and obvious can boost conceptual understanding and mastery of procedures. With deep understanding of the ideas, students can apply them in problem solving, especially when the problem is new and unfamiliar to them. They can also recall and apply the ideas in new situations next time. In a way, deep understanding lays a strong foundation for future learning. When teachers emphasize sense-making in their teaching, students can follow the lessons better when the mathematical ideas become meaningful to them. They don't feel frustrated and are likely to stay engaged in learning. The experience of learning maths can be more satisfying for them. When mathematical ideas make sense to the students, they can use them to construct logical arguments and draw conclusions. These are what mathematical reasoning involves. Mathematical sense-making and reasoning are therefore interdependent. What do students need to make sense of to develop a deep understanding of the mathematical ideas? There are four key elements to make sense of. Concepts, techniques, results and conventions. The general strategy for teaching and learning. Ask the three W's and one H. What, why, when and how. Let me explain using this mathematics problem. 1. Concepts – the basic mathematical ideas on which skills and procedures are built. What are the critical properties of the concept? For example, how to make sense of the LCM concept? Consider a simple example with two integers 4 and 6. By listing the multiples of 4 and of 6, you will notice that the lowest common multiple is 12. LCM is not difficult to understand. Is there something more that students need to realize? Yes, A is a factor of LCM, so is B. A critical property is that the LCM must contain all the factors of A and all the factors of B. The problem is, are students aware of this? Let's revisit LCM of 4 and 6 example. The LCM must contain 2 times 3, or the factors of 6. Does the value contain the factors of 4? No. What is missing is a 2 to make 4. So put in times 2. Rearranging the factors. Hence the LCM is 2 times 2 times 3. 12. In this example, to reinforce the LCM concept, highlight that the value 12 contains just enough prime factors to make 4 and 6. Try applying this idea in the LCM question to solve for P, Q and R. 
Two, techniques, the ways of carrying out the task according to a well-defined rule. How to carry out, why it works. Two commonly used techniques for finding LCM are listing the multiples and using the prime factors. I suggest using a few examples, ask students to find LCM of integers by listing first. Then express the LCM as the product of prime factors and compare with the integers, which should also be expressed as the product of prime factors. Get students to compare the power of each prime factor in the LCM and the integers. Then say how to obtain the power in LCM from those in the integers. For teachers, you should be thinking about how to link the outcomes of the activity with the concept and procedure. For example, what they mean in relation to the critical property of LCM concept. Why choose the power of each prime factor with the higher index? 3. Results The answers to a mathematical question or statements that might have been established by proof. How to obtain, how to apply, how to interpret. Go back to the LCM question. To help students figure out the values of P, Q and R, can ask questions like, does P have to be a smaller value than Q? How can we be sure that P is indeed smaller than Q? Why can't P be 3 and Q be 2? 4. Conventions The established norms for writing mathematical symbols, expressions and statements. What it means? Look at 5,500 when expressed as a product of prime factors. What that 5 with the little 3 at the top right corner means? That's the convention of writing multiply 5 3 times. How the product of prime factors is written? By convention, the prime factors are normally arranged in ascending order. Sense making involves developing an understanding of concepts, techniques, results and conventions. Understanding these elements requires students to figure out the ideas. What that means, why that works, when that works and how that works. Answering those questions require reasoning when students explain their answers. Hence, sense making and reasoning are closely intertwined. In the LCM of 4 and 6 example, by getting the students to say how they think the power of each prime factor in the LCM are obtained, you are developing their conjecturing skill. It doesn't matter whether their conjecture is right. It may turn out to be wrong, but it is okay. Ask them to justify to engage them in validating their conjecture. To come up with that conjecture, students will need to look for a pattern among different examples before noticing that they have to take the higher power of each prime factor of the integers. When this occurs, they actually show that they are generalizing, an important skill for learning mathematics. Getting students to identify the strengths and limitations of the two techniques of finding LCM, you provide opportunity for them to make comparisons. Let us now consolidate all the key ideas in this video. To deepen students' understanding of mathematics, make mathematical sense-making an emphasis in the lessons. Help students make sense of concepts, techniques, results, and conventions. Also make mathematical reasoning more evident to enrich their learning experiences in the sense-making process. Provide opportunities for making conjectures generalizations, comparisons, and validation of claims. Mathematical sense-making and reasoning should be a crucial part of mathematics teaching and learning. Sense-making is not a one-way teacher explanation. It is a two-way teacher-student interaction involving student reasoning. That's all I have for you here. Thank you for watching.